Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about all things adulting. In this video, we're going to be comparing rice and best invest to determine which is the best. Before we look into the differences between both, let us look into the similarities between both. First off, both of them invest in a portfolio of unit trust, which is the reason why we are comparing both of them in this video. And secondly, both of them allow recurring deposit. And lastly, their goal is to outperform the performance of a market instead of tracking the performance of an index. Now that we have covered the similarities, let us look into the differences from three aspects. The first, it is a minimum deposit followed by portfolio composition and fees. Before we look into the three aspects, I would like to highlight that only Best Invest is Sharia compliant while Rice is Harus. So you may be wondering, why is Rice not Sharia compliant? Is it because their business activities of the investments are haram? Based on my research, for securities commissions to categorize a fund or a company as Sharia compliant, they will need to look at two perspectives. The first it is the quantitative aspect, and secondly is the qualitative aspect. In terms of the quantitative perspective, there are two aspects they look at. Depending on the nature of the business, the contribution from the non-Sharia compliant business over the total revenue or total profit before tax must be less than 5% or 20%. Secondly, it is the financial ratio benchmarks, which are cash over total asset, debt over total asset, which needs to be less than 33%. These are the quantitative perspective. At the same time, there's also a qualitative aspect that they need to consider, which is the public perception of the company activity. Note that these criteria are not mutually exclusive, meaning they all need to be satisfied in order for security commission to categorize them as Sharia Compliant. Back to RISE, just a recap. RISE investment portfolios are investing in unit trust managed by Amana Saham National Berhad, which is a wholly owned subsidiary company of Permodalan National Berhad. Well, based on my research, the reason why RISE is not being categorized as Shara compliant by Security Commission is because PNB is a shareholder of Maybank, which is a non Shara compliant financial services stock. Hence, mainly due to this, RISE is not Shara compliant. But, from the Islamic local councils in Malaysia, the funds are harus because PNB does not invest in haram shares such as alcohol, gambling, or tobacco stocks. So, rice is not Sharia compliant but harus. So, to my Muslim friends, this is something for you to consider. As for minimum deposit, Raya's minimum deposit is 5 ringgit while Best Invest minimum deposit is 10 ringgit. So, clearly, Raya's is a better option in terms of minimum deposit. As for Raya's, the unit trust only gives you exposure to Malaysian markets and there are only 3 unit trusts for you to choose from. Whereas for Best Invest, the unit trust gives you global exposure beyond Malaysia and there are 5 unit trusts for you to choose from. In terms of portfolio composition, Best Invest offers a wider range of options because not only do they allow you to choose from 5 unit trusts, but they give you the ability to choose a global exposure and Malaysia market exposure. Whereas for Ryan's, you only get to choose from 3 unit trusts and you only get the exposure for Malaysia markets. For the fees, both of them have no sales charge, no redemption on withdrawal charges. However, for both, there is a management fee. As for RISE, for account size less than 6,000 ringgit, you will be charged 1 ringgit 50 cent per month. And for account size greater than 6,000 ringgit, the fee can go as low as 0.3% per annum. As for best, the fees can go up to 1.8%. Based on my calculation, for investments below 1,000 ringgit, Best Invest is a cheaper option. However, for investment greater than 1,000 ringgit, Rias would be a cheaper option. In a nutshell, Rias has the upper hand in two aspects that we have discussed. The first, it is the minimum deposit followed by fees. As for portfolio composition, 
Rias is rather limited as they only allow Malaysia market exposure while Best Invest allows Malaysia market exposure as well as international exposure. Another thing for my Muslim friends to consider is that only Best Invest is Sharia compliant. Remember to ask yourself a few questions before you decide which of these you plan to invest in too. Number one, are you cost sensitive? If you are cost sensitive, you will go for RIAS. And secondly, do you want international exposure? If you want international exposure, Best Invest will be a better option for you. If you'd like to know more about Best and RIAS, you can check my Robo Advisor series out. If you'd like to explore more on cryptocurrency, you can check this video out. That's all from me. Bye!